today we are dealing with one fundamental problem or issue is jesus god is jesus man or is he god if he is man how can he be god and if he is god how can he be man or is it a mythological figure so in fact jesus himself said confessed the bible tells that the father is greater than me so he is smaller lesser than the father so what does it mean when the christians believe that jesus is god what kind of proof did jesus ever claim to be god asking for worship him so this question is we are going to deal with today first of all we have to keep in mind that jesus as well as the disciples of jesus were all jews who were firm monotheists believing in one personal god the very first commandment for that the most important commandment they pray as the shema prayer shema israel yahweh elohenu yahweh echad here o israel the lord your god the lord is one or only one god that is deuteronomy 64 then how did the people come to understand jesus how did they come to confess jesus as god first of all we had to see jesus was a man so we have all the evidence from the gospels the gospels that speak about the life and, and mission life and teachings of jesus very clearly testify to the fact that he was a man a 100% man he was born of a woman he lived like a carpenter and his contemporaries his um, neighbors considered him as a carpenter a carpenter from nazareth and the three years of his public life he was a man like any other he did not have much of a religious training he did not learn in any rabbi, rabbinic school he did not belong to the priestly castes he was from the tribe of judah and then there was the undeniable fact that this man is a man he was born he died he was hungry and he was sometimes angry he used <coughs> he used a simple language of the people he was tired and he slept he laughed and he wept all these are human activities so there is no doubt that he was a man who was born and who was dead now there is something more than this human attitudes besides these human traits when we go to the gospels we see many things that cannot be explained from the part of a human person for example to heal a person with just a word or to use the power of god i forgive you or your sins are forgiven or the all the miracles that he performed walking on the water changing water into wine and more he took the authority took the um power to change or to modify the very biblical laws in the fact in, in fact in the gospel of matthew it is said for six times that jesus was changing the laws given in the old testament in fact he has said i have come not to take away not to abolish the law of prophets but i have come to fulfill them and then he goes on to say it was it was said to the people all but i tell you it was told but i tell you so he puts in himself in the same pedestal of god who gave the laws he is not speaking thus says god the prophets always said thus is the lord but here he said i tell you he doesn't make any reference to any other god i tell you he uses the power of god and that is how he also forgives sins now coming to the question who is this man there was also accusations against jesus in fact he was accused right from the beginning about his dealings how he dealt with the law the law of cleanliness what keeping clean keeping not clean 
keeping the law of Sabbath, that was one of the most important laws of Sabbath. And he goes on to say the Sabbath is for man, not man for Sabbath. And the son of man is even master of the Sabbath. He puts himself above the Sabbath, puts himself on the equality with God. And that's how it offended, scandalized, and irritated, and angered the people, the Jewish leaders. Right from the beginning, they were observing him. And finally, in Jerusalem, they tried to kill him twice, they stoned him to death. Once they took the stones and Jesus asked him, okay, wait, wait a moment, please tell me, I have done many things before you, many good things, shown many good things. Tell me, which, because of which of these deeds are you trying to kill me? No, not because of any of your good deeds. Because you being a man, claim to, claim to be equal to God. You pretend to be God. Are you God, Yahweh? So they want to kill him. And several times they tried to, but they could not. So this is the finally comes the question, the question by the supreme authority, the Sanhedrin. Are you the son of God, the Messiah? And he said, yes, without any doubt. Yes, and if there is any doubt, to, to remove that doubt, he said, you will see the son of man seated at the right hand of God and coming with the clouds as a judge. Sitting at the right hand of God is having the same authority as God. And it is God who comes to judge. So seated at the right hand of God and coming to judge, he is claiming equality with God. This is undeniable fact. So how can we believe that there are two gods? It's impossible. There are two, two gods, but at the same time, here stands a man who claims to be equal to God. Either he should be a madman or he should be a adamant criminal, a blasphemer, or should be true what he said. And he stood by his word, and he did not take it back. Even when the Sanhedrin contempt him to death and handed him over to the Romans, he did not correct his stand because he was telling the truth. And the truth was somehow proved the third day. And already foretold that he will be handed over to the, the, the Gentiles and he will be put to death. And on the third day, he will rise again. And that's what has happened. On the third day, he rose. The, the tomb was empty. He was not there. The very on the unique event in the entire human history. A person who was killed and murdered and he was, uh, was buried. The tomb was sealed and there were people standing watch. But he rose. And this is the very proof that what he, Jesus said is correct, is truth. And that's why you believe in Jesus as a son of God, equal to the Father. And for that, the Christians, they gave their lives. Hundreds of thousands of Christians, from the first century to the 21st. They are being persecuted, but they still remain firm to this belief that Jesus is son of God, and God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that is the faith we confess, that's where, with which we live, and we are also ready to die for that. May God bless us all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.